स्टक वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टेस्ट फॉर मीडियम नाउ For that, you should know the muscles which are supplied by the median nerve. We know that median nerve supplies most of the flexor muscles of the forearm, like flexor carpi radialis. Flexor digitorum profundus lateral half pronator teres Pronator quadratus, an important deep muscle is flexor pollicis longus, then there is another muscle which is Amaris longus, and muscles of Tina Rubinus. Besides this, there is also sensory supply we will start with the flexor pollicis longus so this is the deep muscle which is supplied by the median nerve so when there is a palsy of median nerve the nerve supplied to the flexor pollicis longus is severe so this is a muscle which causes flexion of the thumb at the distal collateral joint. So when this muscle is uh, when this muscle is paralyzed, this results in loss of flexion of the thumb at the distal collateral joint. So how do you test this muscle? We ask, uh, we call the proximal phalanx of the thumb. That is, we are fixing the proximal phalanx and we try to flex thumb at distal phalangeal joint against resistance. So this is how you would test the flexor pollicis longus. That is we are facing the proximal phalanx of the thumb and we are trying to flex the thumb at the distal phalanx against resistance. That is fixing the proximal part of the thumb, we are trying to flex the thumb at the distal phalanx joint. 
This is how you test the flexor pollicis longus. Next is flexor carpi radialis. This is a flexor of flexor muscle of wrist. To test this muscle, we try to flex the wrist against gravity. If there is a large deviation of the wrist and the tendon does not stand prominent, there is paralysis of flexor carpi radialis. Sorry, there is paralysis of flexor carpi radialis due to median nerve palsy. Next is flexor digitorum profundus and flexor digitorum superficialis. So these two muscles are the flexors of the fingers of the hand. So when the nerve supply to these two muscles are severe, the flexion of the fingers will be affected. So there are chiefly two tests which are used to test these muscles, that is the oceaners clasp test and also benedictions test in oceaner's clasp test we are asking the patient to clasp his fingers and if there is a palsy if there is a median nerve palsy of the right hand when the patient tries to clasp his hand the index finger of that hand will not flex and there will be a pointing index finger so this is positive Oshner's clasp test also known as pointing index finger also known as pointing index finger and there is another test that is benedictions hand and if you are trying to make a fist with the right hand in which the median nerve is in which the median nerve is injured The hand will be like this. That is the flexion of the ring finger and index finger will, will not be affected. The hand will position, the attitude of the hand will be like this. This is known as Benedictions hand and this test is known as Benedictions test. Other muscles are pronator, quadratus, and pronator teres. Due to loss of nerve supply to these two muscles, pronation of forearm will be affected. And you will see the muscles of thenal eminence and sensory supply. Muscles of thenal eminence. So the muscles supplied here. 
these are the abductor pollicis brevis flexor pollicis brevis Opponents policies first and second lumbricals are also supplied. These are the intrinsic muscles supplied by the median nerve. Now, how do you test the abductor policies brevis? So the action of this abductor pollicis is to abduct thumb at right angles to the palm. So we use a test here which is called the pen test. Pen test is a test used to test the abductor pollicis brevis and this we are holding the palm like this and we are pointing a pin like this and the patient is asked to touch the pen patient is asked to touch the pen in this we are testing the abductor pollicis we are abducting the abductor pollicis brevis we are abducting the thumb at right angles to the palm using abductor pollicis brevis this test is called pen test then how do you test the opponent's pollicis so these muscle causes a position of the thumb against all the fingers so when we are making an okay sign like this, we are able to make an O like this. It is normal. If you are not able to make an O like this, this is abnormal. So, testing for this okay sign is an important test of opponent's policies. And we are testing the sensation there will be sensory loss you know that the lateral two third of the palm and lateral three and a half fingers of the distal phalanx are supplied by the median nerve. So sensation over this part will be affected in median nerve palsy. On the dorsal aspect dorsal aspect Sensations over the dorsal aspect of distal phalanx of the lateral three and a half fingers, this part alone will be affected. Dorsal aspect. of distal phalanx
lateral three and a half inches. And in median nerve palsy, because of the paralysis of abductor pollicis brevis, the hand will be in a position like this. Like that because of the over action of the adductor pollicis. So the thumb will be over adducted because of loss of ab abduction because and because of over action of the adductor pollicis. This position is called this deformity is called ape thumb deformity or simian hand deformity. So this result and the deformity which is called ape thumb deformity. Simian hand. And because of the paralysis of the muscles of the inner eminence, there will be atrophy in this region. That's all about the test for median now. To see more videos from our channel, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.